Dear John, how's it going? Look, I know you got a lot in your mind right now and you're being tugged in lots of different directions. I know you've already met with the Leafs and a bunch of other teams and you got a 77 page binder to read through. Did you write that whole thing yourself? Look, a couple of years ago I made this flashy video gallivanting around Toronto trying to convince Steven Stamkos to sign with the Leafs. That was the wrong approach. So I know you're not going to be swayed by some YouTube video. Plus the Leafs suck back then. They don't anymore. They're good now. But without all the flash, the PowerPoint presentations, the pomp and circumstance, let's just talk man to man. Let's just talk like two people who grew up as fans of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Should I mention that I'm shooting this video in Oshawa, Ontario? I'm sure you remember that, John. Just give me a few minutes of your time and by the end of it, I'm sure you will be convinced that you need to sign with the Toronto Maple Leafs. For as little money as possible. Sorry, what? Look, I mentioned Oshawa, but you haven't played there in a long time. And a lot of the things you loved about it are still there. That cool Jenny's mural of Bobby Orr and company. You can still get a nice turkey dinner, whatever you want at Teddy's. But I know you're a big star now, Johnny. A millionaire! And there's lots to do for a guy like you and Schwally with Oshawa. Want breakfast? They renovated Berry Hill Farm. Now you can get a seat. After the game, they renovated Riley's, I think. The Costco Plaza, buddy, you should see it. It's bumping now. They got a firehouse subs and a beer store. But Johnny, Johnny, this is the big one, all right? The GO train runs later now. You're having a great time at Gracie's, but you're constantly checking your watch because you got to catch the 12-13. And then Sean Paul comes on. I can't leave when they're playing Sean Paul. Trains run later now. And some of them even have outlets where you can charge your phone. They're just kind of hard to find. But enough about that. You're going to be living in Toronto. The restaurant, the CN Tower still spins. They're going to finish the construction on Union Station eventually. And the part that is already finished has a Japanese cheesecake place. They don't have that in Brooklyn. Oh, oh, they do? Oh, well, okay, fair enough. You know what else Brooklyn has is the island. Sorta of maybe. Blue and orange, black and white. It's like pick a color scheme. When you're a leaf, it's just blue and white. Except for St. Patty's. We get a little nuts. The little leprechaun. Oh, Joe Bowen, he's crazy. Hey, that's another thing. You can be the reason that Joe Bowen says holy mackinac. Unless you want to make Joe Bowen sad, John. That what you want to do? You want to continue to make the voice of your childhood sad? No, that's not what you want. In fact, that's not going to happen anyway. Because you see, the Leafs kind of mopped the floor with the Islanders last year. You know, they were fun games. High offense. One way. That's <laughs> just an all goal. Woo! John, by signing with the Toronto Maple Leafs, I would like to present you with the opportunity to play in front of a goalie. Frederick Anderson comes with this built-in nifty feature called Stopping Pucks. Now in October, you're going to be like, are you sure? But uh, give it time. It's a bit of a slow burn, but kicks into November. And you might be thinking, wait, wait, I can't leave Matt Barzell behind. Oh, that guy the Bruins passed on and the Oilers traded away? Look, I'm not going to take anything away from him, John. Matt Barzell's really good, but I gotta tell you... The Leafs have like three of those. Dude, you're gonna have more wingers than you even know what to do with. They're everywhere. They're on all four lines, up in the press box, stuff them under the mattress. I don't trust banks. So you might be thinking, well, if I go to the Leafs, who will I play with? Whoever you want. You wanna play with Mitch Marner? Andreas Janssen? Kiss Perry Cabinet? Patrick Marlowe? Vintage. Yeah, how about William Nylander? You gotta take Hyman too. He's a bit of a package deal. He's an animal though. He got hit in the face with a puck and practice the puck shatter. Plus, the Islanders GM is Lou Lamorello. Oh, oh, I know. He was the Leafs GM like two seconds ago, but that's when he was good. He's with the Islanders, so he's bad now. It's just how it works. Now, I know you're being courted by some other teams, and, and you deserve it. Obviously, you're a popular guy. You should be. You don't want any part of those losers. Like, pfft. The Dallas Stars. Oh, oh, they're a fun team. Cool jerseys, high octane offense. But are they really gonna be there for you when it goes down? Alex Radulov? I'm not sure. Tyler Sagan? I'm not sure. Jamie Benn? I'm definitely not sure. And of course by that, I mean they don't get into a lot of fights. Actually it says here they were fourth. Anyway, dude, screw Dallas. Dude. Tampa Bay? Well, they just re-signed JT Miller, so you wouldn't even be the only JT there. Oh yeah, they're a solid team. They'll definitely make the playoffs. But how far are they really gonna get? You gotta remember, they just crumbled under the pressure against proven playoff performer Alex Ovechkin. Plus, they got Victor Hedman. Remember that guy? Dude, you went first overall. We know you're better. You don't gotta put an exclamation mark on it by holding his hand en route to a Stanley Cup. If he wants one, tell him go get it himself. And if he can't do it by himself because you're trying on a Maple Leafs wipe the floor with them, that's not your problem. Who else you got? Ah, the San Jose Sharks. Those guys who wear teal. You don't want to sign with them, dude. They lost to an expansion team. Excuse me while I beat this dead horse. You don't want to go there. Those guys have character issues. Dude, they just traded for Mike Hoffman. He's not? Where'd he go? Oh, that's so mean. Look at us, just two Leaf fans laughing at Ottawa getting ripped off. Anyway, where were we? Then, for some reason, there's the Boston Bruins. I've been looking at Boston's situation and ah, I just don't think they can fit you. Bergeron, Krejci, Rass, Marchand's nose has its own cap hit. The only good thing about the Boston Bruins is Zidane Chara's Instagram. You know, some days I just feel like I don't have what it takes, you know? But then it reads Zidane Chara's Instagram and everything's okay. And I should mention the Bruins before the Leafs because they're tied in that they torture the Leafs. Look! 
the Leafs are good enough to go into the third period of Game 7 against Boston with a lead. This is well documented. You can push them over the top. You can be the player you always wished the Leafs had when you were a kid. Because face it, this is home, John. This is where you're meant to be. The Leafs miraculously get good and your contract just happens to be expiring? You think that's a coincidence? It is the universe telling you it's time. Come home, put on the blue and white, come win a cup, become a legend, and win it again and again till it's old hat. Remember when you were a kid, you can be the author of one of the greatest hockey stories ever told. All you need to do is pick up the pen.